All right, so you've got Builder Trend and you want to start to get estimates into Builder Trend. So, so what I'm going to do is I've got Plus Design Build open here. I'm going to draw a wall. Okay, basically I'm just going to choose the wall that's there by default. Okay, now I have this wall and I'm going to go right click. I'm going to take off selection. Now, you'll notice that we have cost codes inside of uh, Plus Design Build as well. So. I can import cost codes or I can export cost codes and by default uh, Plus Design Build has come with default cost codes. However, if you're using Builder Trend, you're going to want your cost codes inside of Plus Design Build to line up with Builder Trend and also with Zero if you're using Zero. There's a couple of ways you could do it. If you've already lined your cost codes up with Zero, you can fetch your cost codes from Zero. If you're not using Zero, You'll go to build a trend and basically inside of setup you'll find cost code action. So let's have a quick look. Close that down. All right, setup. Let's have a quick look, see if we can get this to open. Setup. Okay. Inside of setup, uh, you have cost codes. Inside of cost codes, you'll notice that if you're fur if you're new to build a trend, you may have not added all your cost codes yet. Now NAHB cost codes are probably, in my opinion, the best solution to start with. Even if you're in another country like I am, I'm in Australia, and you might notice that some of the things in here aren't named the way that we actually call them in Australia. So you'll notice I've named uh, my lumber to framing because it's kind of what I search for when I wanted to use it. So I'm going to go in here in my second lumber package, I'm going to call it framing. And the last one might be eaves or suffetes or whatever it is. The key is to go in and save uh, everything you can see in here and I'll do one more so I'll close that and we might go down I think flat work we call flat work concreting uh, so concreting so the key is to go through and do all of this first and go save now what you would do you would go export cost codes and basically what's going to happen is it's going to export all of your cost codes uh, to a file. I'm just going to go build a trend cost codes save. Okay, I'm going to open that XLS file. Give that a second. There it is. Okay, now I don't want cost category, so all I'm going to do is actually just delete the, the row. Mm -hmm. all right, I enable editing up the top here. Go to here, right click and delete. And I'm going to go file and I'm going to save as a CSV. Uh, and you'll notice it's, it's this one here, comma separated value. Okay, and I'm going to go, I'm just going to call this tutorial. Okay, and go save. Okay, now, if there's any changes that you notice that you want to make here, go back to build a trend. There inside of here before you go and import them into Plus Design Build. The idea is, is that everything lines up. If you make any changes, re-export and, and re-import into Plus Design Build. Again, you do that through cost codes, import cost codes, and then you'll go and find the file that I just grabbed. There it is there, and I would go open and import. Now my, my cost codes are slightly different, so I'm not going to do that now, but you import those cost codes, it's gonna say you've imported your cost codes, and essentially what will happen now, and I'll just quickly just close this down and go no. I'm just going to draw a wall again. So I go wall. I'm using a keyboard shortcut there, guys, but wall up here. Uh, we'll do the same thing. I'm going to draw my wall clockwise. I'm going to quickly draw four walls. Okay, simple as that. I'm going to go take off. Inside of that wall, it already has framing inside of it. So I'm going to go into here and go edit, see more. And you'll notice that my cost code hasn't actually been set up, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type in frame. Right, you can see I've got framing, labour and so on. If I had have imported the cost code according to the change, I would then have framing material. Now, I think you'll find it's called timber in here. Timber. There we go. Timber first package. Uh, and it says, would I like to associate this, uh, I this cost code with multiple items? And you really, really, really want to push yes. Because essentially, what's going to happen is it gives me the ability to give this cost code to all timber. So I can go in here and say, yep, I'm going to do that. And I want to select all of this timber as well. I can deselect and select as I see fit. 
right, and go submit. And now what's happened is that next time I go and draw something of any size, so if I went and drew, say, another wall type in here, W, wall, and I'm going to change my stud spacing and size, material selections here, and I'm going to change my, my framing size to, I don't know, uh, maybe something more realistic would be, say, a 90 by 35 H2, and I'm going to quickly go and draw a wall, or four walls. When I refresh my takeoff and go to framing, you'll notice that now I have 90 by 35 in there. I go edit see more, and you'll also notice that I now have the correct cost code associated with the materials inside of that. And basically what that means is that from now on out, I'm gonna have the correct cost code in plus design build that I can actually send to uh, build a trend as a quote. So if I said, okay, go back, and I'm going to go to export takeoff and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to, at the moment I'm going to go to build a trend with no levels because watch a tutorial later guys you understand what levels mean but I'm going to go with no levels okay and I'm going to go submit okay and you'll notice that I would now have date modified this okay give that a second to open right so here's our walls And here is the, the timber that I've drawn in there that I changed my cost code for. Now these little E's here, they're delimiters guys and basically they will um, allow Builder Trend to understand this without having to go and map all of our cost codes. And if I send this to Builder Trend, right, so you can see I've got it as Builder Trend there 2021. And now if I went into Builder Trend and I'll just close this down and I went to uh, a project. I'm just going to go to this one here. And financial estimating. And I've already got something in here, but just to show you, I'm going to select all. And I'll just increase the size of this screen here. Checked actions, I'm going to delete them because this is just a mock-up job. Okay delete line items. So now I've gone back to scratch. Now I can go import estimate from Excel, uh, browse my computer. I'm going to go to quick access because it's going to help me and go open. I'm going to go next. All right, eight additional rows have been omitted for brevity, which basically means that there's more items there, but they are just there. And if I do come up with a question mark, it's basically asking that, do I want to change cost codes from one to another? Now you can go in here. It's only because at the moment I haven't synced up my cost codes hundred uh, percent. So you can go in and change whatever you want these cost codes to be. It might be under wall linings or whatever you have them named. Right, select the right cost code and basically go next. And next. And go done. If you see 12 out of 13 records imported successfully, which means that one wasn't, you can export the sheet and then go and remap that item inside of Plus Design Build. Uh, I'm gonna say done. And now I have the timber that I chose, the correct cost code in there, the prices and everything that was required to do it, I can go and add more. Now, if you want to add descriptions, just watch our other videos, guys, because we can add a description in here as well and change the way that this comes through to build a trend. All right, hope it helps. Cheers.